Earlier this year, strong public opposition led by several prominent websites forced congressional leaders to cancel votes on two bills known in Washington as SOPA and PIPA. But we should never underestimate the federal government's insatiable desire to control the Internet. They resent the notion that ordinary people can communicate and trade across the world without government filters or approvals. The latest assault on Internet freedom is called the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act, or CISPA, which may be considered by Congress this week. CISPA represents an alarming form of corporatism as it further intertwines governments with companies like Google and Facebook. It permits them to hand over your private communications to government officials without a warrant. It also grants them broad immunity from lawsuits for doing so, leaving you without recourse for invasion of privacy. Simply put, CISPA encourages some of our most successful internet companies to act as government spies, sowing distrust of social media and chilling communications in one segment of the world economy where Americans still flee. Imagine having government approved employees embedded at Facebook, complete with federal security clearances serving as conduits for secret information about their American customers. CISPA is Big Brother writ large, cutting the resources of private industry to work for the nefarious purpose of spying on the American people. Spying on the American people. Spying on the American people. We can only hope the public responds to CISPA as it did to SOPA back in January. I also urge you to call your federal senators and representatives and urge them to oppose CISPA and similar bills that attack Internet freedom. I say to my friends on the Internet, relax. The president will never take over. The government should never take over the Internet. Right now, China, the government, can disconnect parts of its Internet in the case of war. We need to have that here, too. You blocked me on Facebook, and now you're going to die. Die.